Hello everyone, welcome to Dim Haven Enigmas, the next mist-like game from the team behind Quern. Now, I played Quern a year or two ago, and it was amazing. It is the, by far, the best mist clone that is close to mist in so many ways. It has puzzles, it has environmental world building and storytelling, it has a great story, it has philosophical themes. Absolutely wonderful, and I'm so happy to see another studio doing the same thing that Cyan Worlds is. And this is their next game, Dim Haven Enigmas. This is the demo, it is not out yet. As you can see, it is currently on Kickstarter. And I back them, uh, this is not sponsored, it's just uh, one of you guys pointed out to me that it is on Kickstarter, and I was like, oh cool, I should do a video on it right now. So this is the demo. It's going to be a cool mist-like. We're going to jump into a new game and see what we have waiting for us when it comes out. Don't even ask what. Loading done. Press any key to continue. Okay, maybe controller doesn't work. used to work there. We moved away just before they closed down the airport. Uh-huh. Oh, it was such a lovely place. Is it still? Oh, I, I don't know. It's actually my first time. I hope it is. Why are you visiting now, after all? My uncle. He went missing. I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope you find him, young lady. Thank we you. are nearing Dimhaven! Get ready! All right. Let's do this. Huh. Oh, nice entry. There's no ports, apparently. Just have to skydive in. Got some nice story going on here. What is that? Is that a, supposed to be a hand over to the left? Oh my god! Oh no 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 no! We missed. Uh. No, not my Downy linking book. Really? Well, that was something. Why, hello. Uh, but my passport. I gotta find that bird. Are you a robot? A cutout, okay. Press any button to start. Let's see if I can... Okay, I can use the controller. I just couldn't get, use it to get out of that loading screen. Alright, I like controllers better in these because the mouse can give me motion sickness. Alright, looks like this is our landing spot. Nobody's here to greet us. Just all set up beforehand. Good thing we didn't hit these, right? Places to walk around. We have a nice circle in the middle of the screen. I like that. Can we go into the water? Whoa! Nope. It's way too cold. Apparently it's too cold. What about this way? What could have happened here? Keep out. The last uncle who was here got disappeared. Nice lighthouse. Nice pixelated weeds. Is there a run button? Yeah. Every game has a different run button. Ooh, but the view bobbing though. Don't know if I can handle that. But I can turn it off. Uh, gameplay graphics. Feel the view uh, to the magical 70. I think it's 70. What's SSAO? Head Bob, there we go. All right, now we can go faster. Um, you know, I think maybe a little bit of bobbing would be fine. Just not the like bouncy up and down that uh, it was. All right, what does it say? Press any button to start. Any button, any button, any button. 
but only one of them works. Welcome to Dimhaven. Please complete our mandatory survey before proceeding to the visa office. Hmm. How was your flight? There's only one. <laughs> oh no. I suffered an engine too. I, ha I hate parachuting. The crew is rude. That's terrible. How bad does it hurt? A normal amount. Not too bad. Oh no. Please stand by for emergency assistance. Nobody's going to be here, is there? Like, oh. trained and equipped to handle situations like, like, like this. Oh no. It flipped down a blue screen. <laughs> Leave while you can. Welcome to Dimhaven. Please complete our mandatory survey before proceeding to the visa office. Oh, hey, I got something. Oh, nice. Um, we are glad you enjoyed it. The oh, following I see. questions will evaluate <laughs> your suitability to get a visa. <laughs> Image with traffic lights. I love the first game, didn't have that much humor, but Good. this one sure does. One of these activities is encouraged in Dimhaven. Theft. Littering. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Select a picture featuring a date. Was oh, this one, of course? Are we already there? Yeah. Hmm. Fine, I guess. Next question. There is a ship on the ocean. On the ship, Alfred has nine apples. Barnabas uh, has it's five be a trick oranges question, than Alfred has it? apples. Charlie has half the amount of papayas than Denise has avocados. And Eugene has never bought comes to 27. Please consider your answer very carefully, as this question is crucial in determining your eligibility for a visa ticket. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which one is correct? This one. Okay. I wonder if there's anything funny for getting it wrong, or if, uh, you just have to go through it again. Fine, I guess. Next question. 7.7 .7 plus 5.1i. <laughs> I didn't even look at it. It's a complex number. Would you recommend our services to your friends and family? Eh. I mean, of course. Thank you for your feedback. Great. Please take your visa application ticket and continue through the gate to the visa office. Yes. Please, please get this question correct to submit your survey. Or the, the, the non-start one. All right. We have to click on the item and then we have to click take item. I see some punches. Does that mean it's already been used or is that a, like a barcode? Q. Which button is Q on the controller? Hey, we can jump. Left click. Zoom. Q. Okay, fine. I use the, the keyboard. It's the shape of a n nothing. Number 86. Oh, it's in my inventory now. Okay, so it's it's like I, I will use this if I use an item. Let's try slotting it in here. What's the what's the interact button? Triangle. I think I, I think I did Quern as um one hand on the controller, one hand on the mouse. Camera. Hope it still works. Ooh, this might be a mechanic. It's not just a screenshot. Oh, that's cool. What should I take a picture of? Huh. Sign saying which way you should go. 
glad it survived the landing. I got what a, an achievement for that. I think my achievements are not turned on at the moment. Let's look at the beautiful hmm. picture. It's also a demo, so there may not be any achievements. Sketch tools. Nice. That way. All right. Awesome. I like that. Oh, but if my hand is on the mouse, then I can't hit the run button. It won't budge. I'll figure something out. It's not. That's the jump button. <laughs> Hello? Anyone? Hmm. No one's here, I suppose. Yep, don't see anything in there. World building stuff, a note. Maybe we'll want to find the key somewhere. I imagine it's not sitting out like on a windowsill or something, because that'd be extremely hard to find. Yeah, I doubt they'd have pixel hunt puzzles here. Can I walk here? No. Can I jump? I can't. Not gonna open without a the, key. The X button is jump. The interact button is Y. Welcome to Dinhaven. Have a pleasant stay. Ah, but we know from the picture that the correct way is that way. Ow. I smacked my face on a rock. Ah. I have been here. A couple of old-fashioned light pieces. Wonder why there's a kerosene lamp on this one. And that one alone. I wonder if it gets to be night. Uh, that was hard. <laughs> With the controller. I turned something off. What was it? I don't even know. We should wait until we know what it is before we turn it off. If that power has been on for so long, it's a huge waste of power. Unless it's like tidal power or water power or something. Wind power. That could stay on for a long time. Let's go. Take the change. Take any of the stuff. There's still snacks in here. Nice pictures. This is like a... It's all aircraft. Like a little, um, cafe type place. Visa office. Oh, that makes sense. In case no one's at the window, visitors applying for a visa should use the bell on the counter as many times as necessary. Steve, you will find a box near the generator behind this booth. Right, left, left, right, 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 left. Yes, please only open the box if you are Steve. There's absolutely nothing of interest in there that could possibly concern anybody else but Steve. Thank you. Drop wings aviation. <laughs> All right, what's the uh, R? Okay. Do you have to press the interact button to leave? You can't just move. I've been playing so much Riven, the controls are really good in that game. Of course we have Anyone to press it a there? lot. Give it's a bird. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Alright. We can't go past there. Maybe that's the end of Demo Bird. There's a tool shed somewhere. Toolbox. The right, left, left, right, 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 left. No. 
The other, the other way? What's the, what's the button for the camera? I have to check, I forgot. Oh, it's just R. And then, um, shift to switch mode. Oh, for the scrolling. Ugh. Okay. All right, how do I find my photos? N for notebook. There we are. Right, left, left, right, 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 left. And that's what I did. Okay, let's start with left. Um, it's upside down, isn't it? Right, left, left, right, 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 left. Got it. <laughs> I had a similar problem at the very beginning of Quern. Hmm. Hey, Steve, it's been a while. We installed this temporary generator due to the ongoing energy shortage to power some of the less important electronics, but it's getting really old and has issues. I would appreciate if you could take a look at it. Feel free to have a rest and make a cup of tea if you can get the kettle working. As always, the key is under the mat at the office door if you haven't already let yourself in by now. I hope to see you in person soon. Matilda. Under the mat at the office door. Probably could have guessed about that. How do I leave? Right. Coin! We go to the vending machine and drop it through the... There's only hot water. Sorry. <laughs> it's broken. Anything in the phone? Ugh. Please insert your card to initiate the call. I have no card. Great. Card be down here, I think. Can I read this stuff? No. Probably boring legal stuff anyway. Can I put my coin here? One hundred. Let's go. I got my coin back, yay. So what are these numbers? Uh got letters on them? Oh no, it's the it's the money. Because 01 through uh 15. Probably not gonna work, but let's try some good old good old dried something. 06. 100. Go. Oh six. Dang it. Looks like we're not getting any snacks anytime soon. Maybe one of these has an item or something. We gotta find a clue to it. Trash? Yes. I want to look in the trash, of course. Spray paint? Bug spray? Ugh. Beef jerky! Empty. Because of course we look in the trash, because of course we would. Nice. I wonder if that was even accessible before we got the thing. Uh, the clue. Alright. It's the wrong do wrong key. The wrong door for the key. Oh, no, it just... It's hard to Ugh, open. I should definitely open the windows. Yeah. It was perfect. I'm so good at this. Look, I can make it go back exactly to the same spot every time. Yeah. 
And the reason why the chair always goes to the same spot every time, and in real life, if you've done this, you know that sometimes it goes past and then goes back. Because it's not exactly even with the floor. It's tilted a very little bit. And so because the chair is has weight that is offset, it has a position that where it is the least amount of potential energy. And so it just settles down to that spot every time. Another visa application ticket. Uh, it looks like there's a pattern there. Four. There's a number. What's the photo button? Yeah, so it's a combination of... Hey, look! Another coin. 20 and 10. There's rings. Or it might just be a solid fused drink where the water evaporated and it just solidified. I don't know. That, I mean, clearly it, there's nothing in there. There's just a ring, a stain around the rim. 1981! That, that was 11 years before I was born. And something must have happened after March. Yeah, they never, never did anything. Anything to find on these calendars? Thursday the 1st is red. Is red. 1st of Jan- Middle East is a holiday, right? Another ticket. Nothing else to find here. I don't know. We'll take a picture just in case. City codes. Farmagrad. Dick. 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 Car. Dick. Dick. Ruben. Dimbish. Gujas. Hipriz. Hipiriz. Hiskucha. Crumpless. Logton. Mikshulk. What are these names? Perlin. Hosmik. Saskats. Sackets, a Udengrad, Unnatko, Varias. Ah, uh, combination. It's that locked. one won't open. None of these will open. All right, so we got to find a combination. Okay, so there's so many tickets, and they're all punched with a different combination. So, my guess is that the punch holes are going to be a combination to something. Can I, like, look down there? Nothing to see there? 1999. <laughs> Typing on the Visa card. I thought it said math. It says Matilda. Need to find if we like go into our photo mode. No, it just that takes a picture. We can't go into photo mode while we're holding an item up. Nothing to see there. There's more of the phone notice. Legal files or something. Hey, Matilda, I had to replace some parts of the generator, but it's kind of working now. Don't overload it with too many things turned on. Those huge arrow signs outside use an awful lot of power, so if you want to use your kettle, keep only the middle one on since that's how... that's now hooked to the outside grid. Thanks for the tea. I might have taken a few biscuits from the cabinet, so I left some change in the metal box. This is made in Britain, I believe, so biscuit means cookie. Uh, what is this? Um, overload the generator. Yeah. The kettle is hooked to the middle one. So many of these. I think it's these corners, right? Is it the four in the corners? Alright, got a lot of tickets. How about my ticket? 
Where'd my ticket go? Did I not take it? Have to go back and get it. Game is rather pixelated. I'm kind of surprised. Maybe it'll be better in the final release. Oh, can I? Oh, here, here we go. Um. What's the I for item? Okay. Yep, 86. That's my number. Photo taken. 24 inch. 104 inch. I don't seem to be able to go back. That's all right. It's not like I'm any more stuck here than I was over there. What do we find? There's a bird that won't let us pass. We've got a bunch of tickets. Staff only. Have we been? We haven't been back here, have we? We want to open this. Who? Half? Some gasoline. Nice. It's, we should just take it. Awesome. Flower pot. I can touch it. But there's no handle. <laughs> All right, so are these the the power things that were being talked about? There's feathers in here. Bird was here. Maybe the bird has taken the handle. All right, so looks like we will soon need Let's go pull it It won't budge it's empty. Right. Um, does this bottle have anything in it? No, it's just empty. All right. All right. So we can uh, turn on the water, I guess. <laughs> Fill it up with water. Um, this one was the key is under the doormat. All right, so here's one of these things, um, one power thing. All right, another kerosene lamp. Uh, I should. Difficulty of using sometimes the controller and sometimes the mouse. Not a thing. Oh, we can just go past the bird. What are you? Oh, it's my passport. All right. It's also like eating the electrical wires or something. So if we turn on the power, bye bye bird. All huh. right. Even the revolving door doesn't work. Oops. This auto happens when I walk close enough. Maybe only this one will. Maybe I have to go in the other side. I guess maybe this is the outdoor, right? All right. So we found a lot of stuff. It's that. Um, we found all these tickets. That's locked. Found so many tickets. There's city codes. Um, base code. Three five one six. Okay, go. This symbol looks kind of like a pair of scissors. Yes, I'm just finding stuff. That's not working. This doesn't work. 
What was that number I just looked at? 3516. A lot of numbers. All right. He took my passport. Ah, I'm examining the bird. Can I examine the window? Well, it's a change. Don't know if uh, that does anything. There's something going on with the power. Right? There's a limited amount of power. And they're using lanterns, which suggests they blew out the generator or something. Alright. He took my passport. Now I can look at this from outside. Nice. Alright, so let's recap. We found a couple combinations. There is one here. It's got four numbers. Here's a number. 3516. Let's try it. Alright, let's go. Alright, no surprise. That's not it. 3516 has got to be the code for something, though. Alright, and uh, this is something here. It is showing us... So 65. Is that the code for 65 or something? And then 4 is pointing to it. Maybe it's the code for 4. 33. This one, this one. Maybe... Um, 1981? Worth trying. That'd be a terrible password, just the year. Nope. None of them open. Alright, so... I'm a little confused. Uh, there's also this, like maybe there's stuff in here. Let's look carefully, see if we see anything that looks like it might fall out. Just snack bags, right? Nothing in the empty spaces. Nah. Maybe I can use my other item? My 20? 20. It's just not working. What's this? Of the new? The transformer? And a pipe or wire or something that just goes nowhere? Goes down here, back here. Very hard to follow. Some heavy equipment. Oh yeah, it's holding up the, the nets. If I turn this off, does that allow me to turn anything else on? Uh, oh. It's just the lamp. Okay. I don't think so. Does the typewriter work now? Dots and dashes. Alright, what else do we find in here? More tickets. Hmm, there was another combination somewhere. A married couple in front of a plane. Nothing on the back of the door. <laughs> That'd be a fun place to hide something. A tidy visa office is a happy visa office. Where's the other combination? It was in the porta potty, right? Staff only. It 
opens. Wonderful. So we can close it. Not. Alright. Now we have locked ourselves in. So much interactivity. Wonderful, wonderful game. It's locked. Hmm. Locked from the inside, but nobody's inside. Right, we have another four digit combination. Now, it'll be faster for me to go back in before figuring out. Wait, no. N for notebook. Okay. More pictures, please. A and D. Okay, so also the stick. 3516. Wait, where was I just? Okay, so it was almost faster for me to go back and look to... than it was for me to remember how to open the notebook. I forgot again. Three... I have terrible short-term memory. Three, five, one, six. Three, five. One. Six. Let's go. Open, please. The three, five, one, six was pointless. Nonsense, nothing. Ambassadorial lavatory. Well, maybe we can find something with gasoline in it. Pour it in here. It won't budge. Alright, we are at that point of the game where there's just uh, puzzles and you gotta figure out what to do. Sinister Snacks! Sinister must be the person's last name who owns the vending company. All right, so there's something to do with these um, notes. The cards, these things, the tickets. Let's check in the notebook, see if we can decipher a pattern. So top left corner says four. Uh, I can move the picture around. So then bottom left, and top left, don't know what that is, there's a 33 over here. So it says 4, but there's also a 65 over here. Hey, yeah. Oops. It's been way too long, and I'm really sorry for that. I got obsessed. I found something. Something fascinating, yet terrifying that would be too difficult to even try to describe. Recently, I ran into some major obstacles that could put my research at risk. I have to make this right. I know I should have been there for you and your dad, and I promise to contact you and explain everything as soon as I get things sorted. Oh, I meant to go to page two. Um, one out of two. Go to two. <laughs> Turn page. Oh, one out of two here. Okay, two out of two. I see. I'm making such a weird face. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to you, Zach? Ruins of Seholsi, 1973. That's probably not. Probably not um, a clue for anything. Treasure Hunt Beach. Photo challenge, a beautiful picture, a horrible selfie, a sleepy cat, a rebel, Zach's house, someone's breakfast, someone's lunch, someone's dinner, captain's pipe, something locked from the inside. <laughs> Alright, so that's a fun uh, extra challenge. What is that? Why does this one have a star on it? Oh, it's a quest picture. There's a hint system. 
All right, I'm not at the point of hints yet. Can't pick up the pens. Okay, Q, but go away. Just wanted the notification away. So maybe the tickets are not anything yet. Maybe there will be something. So maybe... Oh, WC base code. That could be the... The porta potty. Because WC means water closet. Okay. Maybe these numbers... Match up with something? I don't know. Oh, they're not... I thought they were 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. But they're all different numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They're in alphabetical order, not numerical order. So what if we do this in... What's like the first letter? B, V, K... Okay, that's not spelling anything. That might be part of a puzzle. Alright, so it did say that was 3516. Is that wrong? Three five one six. It says base code though. Maybe it's offset. Hmm. Wouldn't know what to do with that. Okay, let's let's take another look at these at these tickets. Here. So 86, two in the corner, two down there. But then another one was, uh, so this one's 48. There's two here. There's two here. So this could be the code for eight. Um. So 33, but these are different. These are different, hmm. Four is pointing to these boxes. As if these are both four. Then, it's weird that this pops up every time I, I put a picture. So, like, one, two, three, four, but that, that's four, right? Top left corner is four. Yeah, so this one's four. This was maybe two. One, two. One, two, three, four, I'm guessing. I don't have any other indication, though. Maybe I'll go back and look at the tickets, like, flip them over to see if there's anything on the other side. Eh... Also, there may be more tickets that I just haven't found. Yeah, nothing else. Turn these switches, I don't know if that does anything. This, turning this off, that would turn off the lights, right? Yeah, so the arrow says go down. Turn off this one. That turns off. So maybe now we can use part of the power for something else. Walking back here to see if I found anything. I'm missing anything. So this is stuck on, right? It looks like the bird has been messing stuff up. I don't, um, so that would be to get the ladder to come down. Alright. So if this is stuck on, that would mean we'd have to turn all the other powers off before we can access this ladder. 
if I understand the clue correctly. There's something else here. Is it a locked door? The key? Yeah. There's no mat to look under this time. Anything up in the... Nice. Not rafters, but you know, above. This is not locked from the inside, I think, but just in case, let's um, take a picture. That did not count. Oh, look at this. That's cool. I want to go over there and not be stuck in this dingy place over here. Great demo, guys. <laughs> Great place for a demo. Although, maybe that's... I don't know. We'll see. Not gonna open without a key. Yeah, that is definitely not demo material. Visit the Great Wall! Call now to register. Ooh! We can, we can uh, say the number. Let's, uh... Take a picture of that. The Great Wall of Dimhaven is perhaps the world's greatest and most mysterious man-made wonder. Even more so than the Great Wall of China, of course. Every weekday, 9 to 15. That is not American time. Fortress Tour. Explore the monumental halls of Dimgrad, the exact origin and age of which are yet to be determined. Every weekday, 7 to 13. Call now to register. So we've got two numbers. Let's see if those numbers will uh, work on this phone. Oh, I had to insert my ticket. That's right. I don't have a ticket. I mean, no, I do have a ticket. This ticket. Okay. I don't like that sound. I'm backing out. All right. What number can we do? Come on, turn. My... My book is caught on the phone booth. <laughs> Alright, so let's pick a number. 5562343. Five, five, insert your card to initiate the call. Great. Okay. I need a card that looks like this. Drop Wings. That's a terrible name. I mean, it's fine for the game. I'm just saying it's 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 not a good for branding. Oh, looks like I found the pipe. Um, take a picture. Got it. Yay, Captain's pipe. Oh, that's a flash. Okay. How about take a pit? Now I'm taking a picture of something locked from the inside. Nice. Yay! I wonder if this counts as anything. Nope. What's in here? <gasps> More keys! Take item! Tower or something. I bet I know where that goes. The only other lock that takes a key. Yeah! Starting to make some progress. Maybe there'll be clues in there that'll help us. All right, this little place over here, probably. Yeah. What does that even say? I didn't even look at it. Here we go. Have we a puzzle? Yeah, they gave us a jigsaw puzzle. Is everything 
already in the correct orientation. All right, this will take a moment. So it looks like uh, I have to click everything to turn it to the right orientation. Here we go. Feedback when it's done. Oh no, I see. I'm holding it, then I do mouse wheel. Kind of hard, because you can only do it while you're clicking. I, use, I mean, it's not that hard. I just don't usually use uh, scroll the mouse wheel while clicking. All right, here we are. Only a couple pieces left. Gotta be honest, my first thought when I saw this was, was oh no. <laughs> I do enjoy jigsaw puzzles. This was written years ago. But don't feel like it's the best for a uh, mist type game. Dear management, this was supposed to be a beach job in paradise with exciting challenges and fun co-workers. Well, I haven't seen any co-workers in months. I've counted only 13 landers and not a single emergency in two years. None of them didn't even wave back. No one explains anything. What's up with the creepy porta potty? Who put, why put a coin collection there? Oh, we gotta look for coins there. For the record, I did all my tasks last week. Won't anymore. Just here for my shorts. Yes, you are fresh out of Golgard. Whoops. Three, three, 1981. Davin Watschelhoff. All right, so that's a, that's a, there's some numbers here. There's a date. There's, so it's, it's March 3rd. Golgard. And there's a name, a character. And what else? Uh, coin collection in the porta potty. All right. So hopefully that's important. It's empty. Golgard. I need some of this stuff. The power is not working. Would this be a picture of someone's meal? Yes, that's breakfast. Tomato soup, for, canned tomato soup for breakfast. Not sure what opening these will do. And does this count as somebody's lunch or dinner? No. An item! It's a hose! Nice. Hmm. Task list. Use Golgard on all exposed devices. Do it e every three days. Check and tighten all safety nets if necessary. First day of every month. Set ambassadorial lavatory code every Wednesday. Year, day, four years, two days, two months, plus code. Alright, take a picture of that. Year, day, month, code. Refill the generator if empty. Um, so it's adding. It's plus. Every Wednesday. Refill the generator. Yeah, we can't do that. Alright, so then that means we're gonna... So it's plus, so we're gonna add all these numbers together. And it's gonna be for the Wednesday before this day. Bef Wednesday before March 3rd. Man, I like this lighting effect. It makes it feel so cozy. And... Landing bay access card. Yes, I would like that. Use only in case of medical emergency. It's got an M here. Kinda looks like. I guess I can go back now, maybe. Spoons. Alright, and the light switch does nothing. Man, sleeps here. Imagine having a job where you didn't do much, but you had to sleep in the place where you did your job. Like, you, you couldn't go anywhere because you had to be there 24-7. I guess it might be peaceful though, right? If you had internet, if I had internet I could do this channel and be on the job at the same time. Might have weird interruptions in the middle of videos. Alright, can we go back in? 
uh, items. Perfect. Yay. Did another goal. All right, so, oh, that's a button hanging out. I didn't see what it was. I just thought it was debris, which it is, but specifically it's button debris. Yeah, is there any reason I'd want to come out here? Is there like, um, gasoline or something? So we can only use with an item. Keep out. No birds. With a bird on top. Classic. Here we go. So this one, there may be... Ah, there we go. Nice. Here we go. Oh, yeah, the old... <laughs> No, nope, don't do that too much. How did Zach never throw up doing this? Yeah, so that works due to a physical phenomenon called sif siphoning, which is if water is connected through a, a like a pipe, so like here. So liquid pressure is based on its height, and anywhere that is open to the atmosphere will have atmospheric pressure. So, for instance, if we just stick this hose in here, and there's water in there, it's not going to do anything. It's just going to sit there. But if we suck some of it up here, so that it comes over the maximum point, then the, the pressure here at this end is atmospheric pressure. It's the air pressure. But the pressure where the end of the hose is, inside the water, is greater than air pressure. Because the surface of the water inside is air pressure. You get it? So that this here is air pressure, but this is greater than air pressure, therefore the higher pressure is going to push liquid up through here. So as long as you get the liquid to be over the highest point, the pressure inside is going to force it up through here. I don't remember exactly what it is. I think you may actually have to have this, the, the open end, be lower than the end inside the water. Yeah, that would make sense. So if the other end is lower than the end that's inside the water, then the water will actually come up through the hose and down the other side. That's called siphoning. All right, that took me like three times longer to say because I just stumbled over my words, so I cut most of it out. All right, I am a physics tutor. That is my job, working on my way to becoming a professor. So yeah, explaining stuff like that is how I make my living. Alright, we got ourselves some gasoline. The old-fashioned way, the old-fashioned dangerous way. Alright, we also know the combination for this, or we could figure it out. But first, I want to use the gasoline here. Here, here, here. Look at that liquid, it's so beautiful and high-res. Always put the cap on. Safety. I won't budge. Turn on the choke. Um. Keep pulling it until it chugs to life. Ugh! Got some residue in the pipes. And of course we open the lid while, while it's running. No, no, no. <laughs> What is it called? Power mess? Power pasta? Power master. Power master 2000. <laughs> it's great. So that's the generator. So now it is doing what? We turn it off like this? No. Can we turn it off or is it just chugging forever? I should have waited. It's going over here. It's going behind here. Is it going over here? We got power here now, looks like. Just press it. I still need a handle, though. Where does it go? Up to that arrow. 
So now we've got... We now have the option to turn on two power things. That one and this one. We've got two arrows on. The third arrow is over here, which is stuck. It looks like it's stuck in the on position. All right, so we do, do we have all the arrows now? One, two, three. Yes, we do. All the arrows are on. Nice. So there's only one that we can turn off, though. At least so far. All right, we've turned on so much power. Now we have a combination. It's gonna be, so let's go here. We're in March. March 3rd, it was the Wednesday before. This calendar just ends at March, by the way. It's February 26th. So, 0226. Uh, 1981. That is 28 plus 1981. That is, um, that is 2, oh, 2001? Yeah. No, 1999. No, 2007. 2009. Okay, 28. 8 plus 1 is 9. And then 20 plus 89 is 109. 2009. <laughs> 2009 plus 3516. Let me get out my notebook. End button. All the letters are worn away on my keyboard. They use it so much. Alright, let's actually just write this instead of trying to figure it out. Um, the 3516. Um, did we take a picture of the. Yeah, yeah. Um, write. Draw. 1981. Plus O six plus O eight plus and then what was the other one? Three five one six. Sketch tools three five one six. Um, no, it's not 6 plus 8, it's 6 plus 2. What am I doing? Can I erase? I can. Nice, this must be a... This, this, this must be wet erase markers. 2... February 6th. Alright, so that is 8. And then those two combined is... Uh, 19... 89. Oh, it's even got the, the small, like, wispy, um, not full thing of, like, the wet erase marker partially, like, retreating from its full mark into a narrower one. Man, the words are not coming to me today. So, 1989 plus 3... Five, one, six is equal to. I do this backwards, um, but I'm writing it now. Yeah, in my head, in my head, I start with the thousands, but when writing, you you gotta start with the ones. Six plus nine is fifteen. Carry the one. It has been so long since I've done arithmetic with a pencil or a pen. That is nine ten. Carry the one. The six plus nine is again fifteen. 
Carry the one. Five. Wait, why did I think there was a 20 something for the day in the month? Oh, no, no. It's 20. It, it was 20 something. The day was not 06. It was 26, right? All right. Out comes the eraser. Okay. Where am I? February 26. Yep. 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 Twenty six. Two twenty six nineteen eighty one plus three five one six. All right. So twenty six plus two is twenty eight. Twenty eight plus nineteen eighty one. Twenty plus nineteen eighty one is nineteen. Uh, is twenty o one plus eight is two thousand nine. All right, this should be easier to add to, to 3516. So five, five, two, five. All right, as we carry the one, as the nine and the six. Five, five, two, five. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. That was fun. Kind of. Five, five, two, five. Let's go. Drat. I did my addition wrong. I can't add numbers. What do you think I am? A, a an accountant? I'm a physicist. Not actually a physicist, but I like I have an advanced degree in it. The thing is, once you start, once you get into like junior level of physics, you don't really have numbers anymore. All right, here's the year, plus the day, plus the month. Was it 1981? Was that even right? 1981. That's Thursday. There's a 25th, because the Sunday is on the end. When, I just think it's a normal calendar, not an old people calendar. This is not 26, it is 25. Five. Eh. Seven. Eh. Eight. Eight. Eh. Four. Five, five, two, four. <laughs> it's like doing homework all over again. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Point collection? Linking book? Somebody had like an office. What is the. What are these walls? This is somebody's office. <laughs> nice. I get some money. I can't put the other things in here, I'm pretty sure. Secretum omnibus nobis in servient. That means a secret serving all of us. Strange. Hmm, I'm gonna take a picture of that. Seems ancient, but somehow familiar. This symbol looks like the symbol from the room. Yeah, I can't get anything from that. Anything in here? Nope. Can't read the book? I mean, I've, I've got coins now. Do I have to put all of them in? Maybe it tells me what the money is worth. Oh, it's active now. Okay. It tells me how much it is. Alright, so uh, the blinking is a little hard on my eyes, so I'm going to look at the... I've got a 50, a 20, and a 100. That's 170. So what's worth 170? 
The Sinister Snacks. All right. Sorry about the eyes. 20, 70, 170. All right. Uh, what was the number? Six, seven, eight, nine. Seems to still not be working. Oh. Oh, 09. There's like, there's three digits up here. And there's no confirmation button. So. Okay. I don't know if I'm actually trying to buy something. Like this pixelated crack across here. Okay, um... Not entirely sure what to do next. Man, you could take it. It's tiny. Just kick it or something. It's gonna be mean to you, you can defend yourself. Do we have to find the... the... the tickets now? Oh, not like that. Just in case something happens though. Ah, I have a phase through hand. Hmm. And this, of course. Yeah, I haven't found enough of the key for this. But I imagine, well, does this do anything now? Uh... Seems not. Oh, that flashing light I don't like. Maybe we could like turn down the flashing. There might be a setting in the settings. Hmm, I don't see anything. Okay. I guess we need more coins. No confirm button. It is number nine, the 170. And it is it is stuttering, so like back. If I turn this off, does it stop stuttering? No. It's still from the generator, I guess. Don't have a card. Kind of run out of mysteries, right? There's another combination somewhere. The generator's on. It's powering stuff. What is it powering? How does it help us? What if we turn a bunch of stuff off? Uh, stuttering lights. What if we blow out the power by turning everything on? Oh, hey. The elevator button is here. Or the ladder button. Nice. So I won't worry about my, uh... Won't worry about my trying to turn anything, everything on for now. This is safe. Probably come up here with a harness or something. Hey, a handle. Is that bird a kleptomaniac? And a button and... What if I take a picture of this? Nope. Another combination? Well, that was simple enough. It's perfect. 
didn't even really figure out the rules for it. It was like the, the one to the right of it changed it, or each one also changed another one. Oh, hey. Alright, that's off. Maybe if this is off, maybe that'll ma mean everything else is stable. No, it still looks unstable. Oh, oh, I see. We got the handle. Now that we, okay. But it, the, the controls could use some fine tuning. Got to do things between the mouse and the controller. I'm sure if I just did keyboard and mouse, it'd be better. But I like the controller. Where am I going? Uh, over here. All right, here we go. Nice. Turn that power off. So maybe now. Oh hey. You never answer it before the fourth ring. Maybe spam. Maybe fifth ring. Maybe sixth ring. Maybe the spammers are just determined. All right, it's definitely a robocall. Gotta make sure to weed them out. I'm sure they'll get... Sure they'll get tired after the eighth ring. Alright. Well, maybe it's actually a person. Okay. Uh, hello? About time, Agent. Um, who is this? Oh, are you undercover? Um, I'm... Emily? Very convincing. <laughs> so, I don't know if you were in the debrief, but... We still haven't breached the seal, so... Okay. Reach out when you have a safe line. Okay. <laughs> Getting wrapped up in some kind of conspiracy. All right, the power is on now. Yay. Oh, nine. We can buy a snack and we don't get our change back. Sinister Snacks Nut Mix. Um, let me look at it. Can I give it to the bird, I guess? All right, we have one more combination, right? In here. We have another combination. And... Here, would you like a snack? There you go, buddy. Yeah, I don't oh, want that. You were just hungry. <laughs> Can't eat my passport. Airport of Udlingrad. Emily Ravenstone. Take a look at that. Uh, turn it somehow. Place of birth, Udlingrad. 27th May, 1959. Ah, oh, so she's... We're old. We are old. Now we can walk over here. Maybe we can go in here? Yeah. We can go in the indoor, not the outdoor. That makes sense? Cat. Oh, you're so cute. Yeah. And also not mean or dangerous. Hiking trail to Kishvar. Are we just winning? So what was our photo things? Wait, where's my pamphlets? <laughs> Treasure hunt. A horrible selfie. Maybe there's a reflection somewhere. A sleepy cat. Ooh, a rebel. Zach's house. And lunch and dinner. We need the cat. Oh, I did it! That's Yay! It. Now Zach is is Zach the one who lives up in the treehouse or whatever? Is this Zach's house?
Or this one? Nope, I guess not. Alright, well, I was assuming that the... The demo would be over, but maybe there's a little bit more left to go. Some more birds. Wait, we didn't go to where the bird got the snack, did we? Kishvar, Hotel Parkway. Do not... Le do not lean. Okay. I thought it said do not learn. I'm like, well, how can I... How? Oh. Mix Reb and Varnocto. You will understand once you get into the office. Get rid of documents you have been briefed about. Destroy this note after executing task. Mix Reb and Varnocto. Okay, maybe that's the, the places list? Gun? Ooh. <sighs> Okay. That's, uh... I don't... That's... No. You should not have one of those. It's a very bad idea. Hello there. Nice to see you. Welcome to the final visa Hello, checkpoint. Hello, creepy cutout. Please insert your passport into the machine. Can I, like... Unscrew this? <laughs> What is it? A sponge? Soap? Does it say what it is? Dirty sponge. Yep. Hmm. Not gonna work. Just making it worse. I know how to clean it. There's water. Visa. Eye level. Passport. All right, let's go. So what do you think about this game so far? It definitely feels a more traditional point and click as of now than a mist like. There's items, there's number combinations. That's really what it is. There's environment or storytelling. Yep, cool. And a really awesome place to see in the distance. I do think it's kind of strange that they chose this crummy space for the demo. What up, bird? And walk past you? All right, it's fine. All right, let's clean ourselves a sponge. So much better. I can tell the difference. It does look slightly better. There's a graphical glitch when when um, you're in the items, and the items won't show up until you select them. All right, now maybe this will work. Yeah, there's a very dirty window. You gotta get every pixel. When you clean windows, you gotta get every pixel of dirt. Every pixel. How many of you have pixelated windows? Nice. Alright, my visa. Why are there numbers here? The one oh passport. There's a passport. Then eye level. Now, please prepare for getting your picture taken. Don't forget not to smile. Uh, I don't think that counted. Your picture doesn't seem to match. Please try again. Or send in the next in line. Alright. Now please prepare for getting your picture taken. Alright. Don't forget not to smile. Give me my horrible selfie. Final check before you get to enjoy Dim Haven's beautiful scenery. Please insert your visa and application ticket. That's the last thing I have. Oops, it looks like something went wrong. I'm sure it's not your fault, but please try again. Yeah, put the sponge in. Okay. Take everything back. I can't look at myself, right? I can't take a selfie. 
Um, is there a way to switch mode? Oh, that's right. I need to find a window where I can take a see a reflection. Okay. So that was number four, I think, right? Vacation ticket visa. Or, or maybe I just don't have this stuff. Okay. So... It's visa application ticket. One of them says application ticket, the other says visa. I don't understand. What's the difference? I guess I need another ticket or something. So there's a thing that said, you'll understand when you get into the office. City codes. All right, let's look at our notebook. A lot of pictures. Um, can I delete? Mix Revan Var not go. Uh, mm, mix. There's no, there's no ribbon. Maybe it's the end. Ah, yeah. Mix he, and the, is number twelve. Mix Hulk and deck a re, deck ribbon. So mix ribbon would be. 14? Fourteen. Uh, oops. The four doesn't go there. Also, let's do blue. It would look better here. Mix. Revan. Var not go. Var is zero. Uh, do not go is three. All right, so zero three. Fourteen oh three, assuming that's what it means. Let's get in. 1403. Yeah! Oh, that feels good. I love figuring out puzzles. Visa application document by Benjamin Bagpatcher. Mother's name, Sarah Somersault. 12th May 1919. Uh, it's just uh, in Gyges. Just visiting. Limps on his left leg, war injury. Visa application ticket number 48. Visa ID, given, date, sign. This is one out of seven. I wonder if mine is on here. Katrina Walker. Feldspar Timbers. Outer Wilds reference? Feldspar and Galena. Yeah, absolutely. Plays some strange instrument, like maybe a harmonica. Oh, well, let's see if there's more Easter eggs. John Smith and Jane Doe. Address unknown. Just visiting. Definitely not part of any secret organizations. <laughs> uh, Judith Polar. Suspiciously shaped backpack. This must be a reference too, but I don't think I get it. What about me? Backer Brown. Oh, maybe these are... No. Nah. I was gonna say, maybe these are supporters, but they, they're doing the Kickstarter now, so it can't be supporters. Permanent stay. Very messy hair. Alright, and then there's me. Zoltan Wright. Okay, this is not me. Uh, anxiously looks around every few minutes. So we can match these with the tickets. 
I'll just take a picture of all these. That's a little um, overwhelming, I should say. I can't take these tickets, can I? No. Now maybe it's time to... Oh, I have to print myself a ticket. I have to print myself something. So I have to find the patterns in all these. My name is Emily Ravenstone. I've got my date of birth. All right, time to look for patterns. Oh my goodness, I can't even, I can't see that. I can't see these. Okay, going back here to look for the pattern. Maybe it's just easy to see. One seven three six seven eight four three dash oh six. Um, oh one September. September's the ninth month. There's no nine in here. Number is thirty three, but there's no. Well, there are threes in here. Date nineteen November. There's no eleven in here. All right. Um, seven, three, they all start with, no, they don't. They start with different ones. Oof. Can I look at my inventory now? No, I have to put it away to look at it. Uh. And I can't see any names on these or anything. 86. We've got an 86. And then who's got a, a Visa 86? Nobody's got 86. It's not in here. Okay. What's my ticket? I'm 86. What? Oh. 48. I confused myself. Is 48 in here? 48 is here. So... Then the visa... I No, let's, let's look at... The one that has the notes on it. I would need this stuff. Uh, is this one, right? 65. So fours in the corners. 65. Alright, number 65. We have, uh, 4312674 how many is it they all have the dash in the same place one two three four five six seven eight dash nine ten okay so there's ten numbers and there were fours one two three four five six seven eight so if we do squares of four each there's only room for eight but then no Maybe the last two numbers are something else. So, it's 02. Do we see an 02 anywhere? 8th October 1979. Number 65. I see no 02 anywhere. Um, wait. Ah, Vargas, 02. So the last one might be the place of origin. All right. This is a pretty intense puzzle. This is still my first play session, by the way. I was trying to do the whole video in one sitting. It's taken some time, and uh, my brain has been used this whole time, so I'm a little tired, but I, I think I can figure it out. Vargas, 
That's the O2. Let's see if the pattern holds up. Garbulk. Uh, no. Crumpless. O3. Crumpless. O3. All right. They say, um, two points is a correlation. Three points is a trend. So let's look for a third one. Cosmic. Is it number six? Cosmic six. Okay, we can safely assume that the city of departure, or the city of, of whatever the city is, is the last two numbers. So let's suss out our own code. We are from Udungrad, right? Yeah, we are from Udungrad, place of birth, airport of Udungrad. Yep, yep, yep. So that's enough information to tell us that our last two numbers are 05. So where should I... Where should I write this? And yeah, these are all useless. So these would be just to help us find the patterns. And we can find that by looking at them. We don't need to... It looks like I'm not deleting them, but there's just seven of them. All right, there we go. Where shall we write our code? That's a lie. There are definitely pictures there. Let's write our code. This is useless. I know. Let's find a blank white... something blank and white. Lots of space. Like, the floor. <laughs> Alright. I forgot the number. Seven? No. Oh, five. Our last digits are 05. I thought I chose blue, by the way. <laughs> Maybe it's the wet erase type of thing. The last two numbers. Okay. Now we need to find more patterns. So, 38. 38 does not show up anywhere. Anxiously looks around every few minutes. Other. I wonder if part of the code is... So let's look for two of them that are like... Tourism. Just visiting. Permanent stay, permanent stay. Alright, let's look for numbers that are the same on this. 4312-6740. 4312-6740. Nothing is the same. Which suggests that... Which checkbox is checked does not contribute. As it suggests the date does not contribute. Okay, there's eight numbers left though. There's eight numbers left. So let's go back to here. The four and the four. This is number 65. Let's go back to number 65. See if we can figure it out from the punches. 65. So the first one is four. Second to the last is four. The so four three one two. Let's see if it's left and right. The so four three one two blah blah four zero. So do I have a picture of this one? Yeah. So Four, three, one, two. This is my guess, of course. Something, something, four, zero. All right, what was the something, something? Six, seven. All right, so, um, writing. Six, seven. This drawing is really convenient. All right, so there's no repeats except the fours. So the zero makes sense. Oh no! Zero, zero, no, no, no. 
I'm wrong. I, mean, I just did freaking control Z as if this were MS Paint. <laughs> because this this row right here, this row is holes. So that would suggest Um, where should I should I All right. Four is one dot in the upper left. Three. Two dots to the right. This is going to be hard to tell exactly what it is. One. There's one dot here. Two. No, no, no. The one has three dots. Two would be two dots down here. And then uh, it's another four, uh, six and seven. And zero is nothing. Six. Oh, no. I made a mistake. I grouped them incorrectly. One is only this one down here. And then two would be top right corner. Oh no. Oh no, that's fine. Top right. I'm actually going to draw some circles for the empties. Alright, and then six is um, the top two are filled. No, the top two are... Yeah, the top two are holes. So they're filled. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, there we go. Good enough. Round out those corners because I didn't like looking at them. And we got a seven, which is three of them filled in. I do not see a pattern here, by the way. All right, let's see if this holds up. Okay. Um, let's see something else. Another one. We got uh, seven as the second number for ticket number 12. We might not have all these tickets. Yeah, I don't have ticket 12. So 48, 79, 86, 86 is mine. 48, 79, 33. Here's 33. So one seven. The first two numbers should be one seven. So one bottom right corner. That is correct. All right, then seven, the three. That is correct, okay. Two is a pattern, three is a trend. All right, what is the next number? Three, six. The next two are three, six. So then three would be two. Uh, uh. Three would be these two, yep. Those two, all right, and then six are the top two. Six, are, all right. Guys, we found the pattern. We found the frickin' pattern. Wow, this feels so good. This feels so good. Oh, yeah. Okay, what are our numbers? So here, we've got... Oh, jeez, we don't know what our numbers are. Um, I didn't write it down. I've only done it right here. So first one is three, I thought it was. So... Yeah, we've got a three here. Three. The next one is one we don't know. And then the next one is bottom left. Have we got bottom left? We also don't know bottom left. So I think those are the two, no, there's, there's 10 digits, okay. 
and we don't know so we don't know four of five of them okay so yeah this 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 then this one is seven no this isn't even ours what am i doing this unknown 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 top two that's six right yeah so we got ourselves a six and then the next is the right two which is three do we remember and then the bottom two have we learned the bottom two we haven't and then top right top right is two <laughs> every time I have to collect this two we got two threes a six and a two all right this is gonna take some remembering we've got two alternating holes the so top left and bottom right I do not see that pattern here top left and bottom right okay number 79 has it as the second digit 79 is a five but didn't we already find five no I, we didn't did we yeah no five so we got ourselves some fives I remember this time a five and a five and I wonder if this puzzles randomized I could see that being the case all right we need top right corner and bottom two bottom two in 48 48 uh which one was it it's not 48 it's the last one last one of 48 is bottom two 48 it's nine all right so this digit is a nine all right last one is just the bottom left dot bottom left dot it may show up, show up only once Or it may show up not at all. We can process of elimination this. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. So it must be eight. Eight. All right, so our code. Where did we draw our code? Let's draw it right here. Dang it. Three, five, eight, five, six, three, nine, two, dash. What were our two numbers? We wrote it in a weird place. Dash O five. O five. All right, can I remember a 10 digit number? The 05 is gonna be easy. All right, 35, 85, 63, 92. 35, 85, 63, 92. Um, 35, 85, 63, 92, dash, 05. It's not, it didn't work. I feel like put something in here. Did I get something wrong? Or does it just not work? 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 
11 characters, that's right. 10 digits. Huh. Maybe... So, I mean, one of two things happens. Either I didn't get this right, or I need to, like, click a lever or something to make it work. Hmm. All right, well, let's look at... Is there, is there anything with an eight in here? 12, but we don't have a ticket for 12. 33. We do have the ticket for 33. An eight in there. Oh, hey, select is the button for that. 33, there's an 8. Ah, yeah, it'd be right here. The third to last one. Yeah. So that's the one. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. It's an 8. Okay. Now, what else might I have done incorrectly? So, we've got a 3, 5, 8, 5, 6, 3, 9, 2... Is that correct for two? Yeah, top right. Yeah. Three, five, eight, five, six, three, nine, two. Oh. I have to open it. There's something to do in here. And I like put something in here. Okay, so I haven't quite finished this. I need to like Oh, maybe I need to do it now? Forgot the number. Yeah, there's no ink. That's printing anything. I mean, I can open it, but I can't... There's gotta be something to, to do here, right? Like an item to put? Can we, like, find ink somewhere? Ooh! Interaction. And open this window. All the windows are open now. But maybe these, which I can't get to. And I feel really proud of that. Hey, look, another cat. Maybe it's the same cat. Alright. What have I not looked at? Maybe... Oh, turn the water off. Nothing special there. No ink here. Maybe in the in the other house, the other home. Yeah, I gotta go all the way around to get to the door. Did I not open these? Oh yeah, spoons. And no ink in here. It looks like nothing behind the door. Let me turn the light on now. Can't see a thing. Alright. So. I guess I just look around and pixel hunt until I find something. Does this count for the quest? Yeah! Alright, I found something new. I can open these windows. Close this one. Very difficultly. Open. Alright, I've opened all these windows. I don't suppose there's a way to get behind this wall. But there's nothing back there. Okay. Well, it did nothing. And jump. I actually get. No. Ah. Uh... Yeah, I am not finding this, so I'm pretty sure what I need to do is find an item to put in here. Because, uh, typing this, nothing's appearing on there, you see? So, there's like no ink. Like, maybe there's a belt that goes across here, or a cartridge that goes in here, I'm not sure. Um, I'm half tempted to use a hint. But, 
Uh, I'm also very tired, and so I think I'll save it for another day. See you soon. Okay, so it's the next day. I've been, I've given the whole area another once over, tried opening and closing the windows, turning on and off the lights, you know, all the stuff. And I have not found any kind of item or clue that could suggest to me how to use this. I mean, the only thing that I thought of is that maybe it's trying to print on the back, but then that wouldn't really make sense from a technology design wise, because like you want to be able to type in normally, but also like, I don't know. I don't know why else not. That didn't make sense. So I am going to use the hints. I even tried like taking the sponge and finding dark things to sponge up so I could like put it in there. Right, here we go. Um, hints. Stop for a second. Think about whether you got any new items or new hints that you haven't used yet. All right. Hmm. Two other drawers also opened with the top one. There might be something useful there. So, um, a drawer. Oh, I looked in all the drawers a lot. Oh! These drawers. Ah ha ha! Ink! Take the ink. Okay. There we go, that makes more sense. Now let's just check the rest of it. So it's a blank note. Oh, let's turn off the lights. If it helps us to see better. Which is weird. Lighting balance thing. An empty one. Alright. Anything else in here? No, looks like there's not. Alright. So we are back to... Yeah, I just... I don't know, man. I guess that's on me. Like, I never thought to close the drawer. I guess that's that's fair. That's fair. I do, like, close the door, there's hidden passages behind them puzzles. So, close the drawer, there's other drawers underneath it puzzles. That's perfectly fine. Alright. I have to review the code because I totally forgot it. Because it's been overnight. Um, where is it? Here? Here. Three five eight five six three nine two dash oh five thirty five eighty five sixty three ninety two thirty five eighty five sixty three ninety two dash oh five there we are and then if we get it wrong there's another one in its place so which item is that it's the visa Okay, and then this one is the application ticket. Even though this one says Visa Application Ticket. <laughs> like, which one is it? It's the application ticket for the Visa, I guess. Let's go, we're so close. I think we're close. I think this is probably the end. Man, so far it feels so good. The puzzles are great. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, notebook back. These, hmm. I missed a few. That's okay. A rebel, Zach's house, someone's dinner. So unless there's more after this, which there very well could be, uh, maybe not. All right, so uh, we might not get all the pictures. Passport. Now we sit down. Now please prepare for getting your picture taken. Don't forget not to smile. Hello. All Just right. one final check before you get to enjoy Dimhaven's beautiful scenery. Please insert your visa and application ticket. All right, so the application ticket goes here. That's this one, right? Didn't I try this last time? Oh, I have to put both of them in at once. That's it. All right. Thank you. Please take your passport. We hope you have a wonderful time exploring Dimhaven. All right, it's stamped on. Nice. Alright! Kishvar bus stop. Hiking trail to Kishvar. I'm half expecting it to, to quit as soon as I step across this boundary. Nope. Hey, it's one of these, these uh, rocks. 
Maybe this game is a Quern spin-off then? Well... The trail leads to Kishvar. I'm gonna start there. I will find you, Zack. Alright, that's the end of the demo. So it's a lot less mist-like than I was expecting. We have a protagonist who speaks, and it seems a bit more of a traditional um, point-and-click puzzle adventure with items, but also with codes and clues to decipher uh, in a sort of mist-like fashion. Like that whole thing about finding out what my number is supposed to be and uh, following the clues to, you know, with the power, figuring out how to turn things off so I can turn other things on. That was so cool. I love that. And there's this sort of um, suggestion, this foreshadowing of some kind of conspiracy, of some kind of organization, some kind of ancient knowledge. Awesome. Uh, it gives mixed vibes. Uh, not a, Okay, what I mean is it gives vibes that are half of Mist, half of The Room, which is another series I really love. So, I'm excited for this, guys. I supported them on Kickstarter. If you want, there, I'll put a link in the description. This is not sponsored in anything. This is just me. Like, I was looking at this game for a long time, and then I heard they had a Kickstarter, so I'm like, okay, I'll play the demo. So, yeah, um, I didn't expect the graphics to be so low res. Like, look at this cat. There's pixels everywhere. But that's... Honestly, I dig it. I like that. It gives, like, um... Retro PlayStation vibe, like Nintendo's, not Nintendo 64, I feel like Nintendo 64 was a bit more crisp in the graphics than PlayStation, but like, you know, the old days of early polygons, and you know, just like pixel graphics, I think this vibe might be coming back, a little bit. I mean, it, it was in what, Anodyne 2, they did it, and now this game, I, th I think that's pretty cool. And then the whole vibe of like the there's a conspiracy but it's also full of humor and uh, I like that I'll be playing this when it comes out assuming I'm not playing like three other games at the same time I'll probably play it soon after it comes out anyway thank you for watching let me know what you thought in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe for more of this game when it comes out more missed likes puzzle adventure games and other awesome games. I'll see you next time. Bye.